my research is on plasma physics, laboratory plasma physics, um, with motivations from understanding astrophysical plasmas, how to accretion disk work around black holes is a, one question I try to understand, and how to confine plasmas for applications, including fusion energy. So plasmas are a very hot gas, basically. So ionized gases, best example, you look up in the sky at night, anything that's glowing is an ionized gas. Basically, you take a gas, heat it up to the point where the electrons are stripped off the ions, and now you have an electrically charged gas that's interacting. Large plasma device, or LAPD, is the largest linear plasma device in the world. It's meant to provide a very large quiescent plasma, so magnetized uh, plasma, for doing studies of, over a wide range of topics. It's much like what happens actually in a fluorescent light bulb. So one end of the fluorescent light bulb, you have a filament that is very hot that emits electrons. And so we have a very big sheet of nickel that we heat up to high temperature, and we get an electron beam that comes out that's about 10,000 amps. And that electron beam then flies down the device, this one, one meter diameter, 20 meter tube, uh, runs into neutral gas, ionizes and heats it up to around 100,000 degrees. And that's the, the medium in which we do our studies. So plasma waves are a, a fundamental process in magnetized plasmas. One role of a, of a wave is to transmit changes in the equilibrium. So much like sound waves, when a bomb goes off in the corner, the, the way you know about it is sound waves come at you. You know, sudden event, take a solar flare on the surface of the sun. The information about that sudden change in the plasma propagates out as plasma waves. And one of my favorite plasma waves is the Alphane wave. If you play a musical instrument, you have a violin or a guitar, uh, and you pluck it, there's a wave that propagates up and down the string. Uh, the Alphane wave is very much like that, except instead of a string, you have a magnetic field line, and you imagine plucking it, and there's a plasma tied to that field, and it vibrates just like a wave on a string. Uh, a lot of my work is curiosity driven. So I'm excited by fundamental processes in plasmas. We want to understand how they work. And sometimes we have an idea about what we want to do. We have an experiment in mind and we see something completely different. And that completely different thing is often more exciting and more interesting than what we thought we were going to do in the first place. So for me, it's really that process of being in the lab, just playing with the plasma, you know, launching a wave into it to see what happens. Um, this is what gets me excited. Trying to understand uh, astrophysical objects, plasma physics is at the core. And this is just a, this is a growing field right now, using plasma physics for, uh, to try to explain how supernova explosion work, how uh, cosmic rays are generated, how uh, stars are born and die. This is all plasma physics, and I think we need more people thinking about these problems from a standpoint of a plasma physicist.